little over 20 minutes past the hour. You're with Prime Time. Thanks for being with us. Here's what's coming up. Risky business. Find out how Russian energy companies are braving social unrest in the Middle East, all in the pursuit of profits. Get the full story in our business section. We meet the handful of craftsmen fighting to save Russia's 500-year tradition of violin making. Summer Museum 2011 kicks off tomorrow and it's your chance to see some of the world's biggest celebrities on the streets of Moscow for free. Primetime's Lindsay Franz caught up with contributing photographer Francesco Carazzini to give us a sneak peek and to find out how he gets the shots he wants. Tell me some interesting things about some of these shots here. Uh, well, we, have? we chose Keith Richards as the um, cover of the show. Mm -hmm. He's such a magnetic presence. Yeah. You know, I showed up in front of him and I was really frightened. I was, <laughs> I was, I was very scared. Really. Is he that scary in real life? N not at all. Not at all. He's the sweetest man. He arrived, and I, I showed him some like ideas that I had, yeah. and he basically nodded and he said, "Yeah, okay, cool." This was, you know, this is important because it's really one of my um, very first big, big shoots. He arrived and he was not in the greatest mood. I had a big, big camera. I was kind of trying to hide behind it. I went up to him and I said. Uh, Mr. Burton, can I ask you something? And he said, yes. I said, did anyone ever give you a chance before? And he said, yes. And I said, well, can you give me mine now? And he smiled at me and the whole shoot, and he came up with the idea of the mask, so. Yeah, and again, then the bad mood melted away. Yeah, the bad mood melted away. This picture. Did you tell him to close his eyes here? Well, yes. He had this very Italian, you know, uh, profile. And so he just put in profile and, and and then he closed his eyes, and I said, stay there. He was like, waiting like this. And I, I went there and took the picture. Again, nothing that was too staged, you know? That's Toby McGuire, and um, this was shot in, uh, in LA, in a ranch. And he shot that movie that was The Horse Whisperer, you, mm -hmm. you remember? And he, he knew exactly how to deal with horses. The horse started playing with him, and that's where the shot came about. And I like the way <laughs> they're looking at each other, you know? Daphne Guinness. Yeah. How, what can you do wrong when someone shows up on a picture like this? You know, she did her own styling. She, That's of course, how she showed up. That's how she showed up. This is what, really one of my favorite women shot uh, ever. What, you know, if you look at closely, she's not beautiful in this picture. Like, this is not, in this picture, she's beautiful. You know? Yes. And she's expressive. Mm -hmm. um, but in that picture, there's something. I like this James Franco shot up here. This is great. Yeah. We had a car as a prop. It was for Esquire. Oh. We had the car as a prop, and I said, like, hey, James. And he just turned back, and I shot There the you picture. go. <laughs> Don King. Yeah. It's legend, huh? Keith Richards and... Yeah, now talk about getting a guy out of character. There's no getting this guy out of character. <laughs> no. And I was really fascinated by him because I'm a huge boxing fan. People that you represent boxing no matter what. Let's make it excessive. And, I mean, all this stuff is his stuff. How do you, how do you get them away from their celebrity mentality when they're, they're, they're with you working? Well, how do I get them away from the celebrity mentality is uh, there's... You know, closing the eyes is, is just a way to make them more and more unaware, uh, in my opinion, of what's happening around. Because when you have your eyes open and you, you look at all the people that are around you, you get more and more conscious of yourself. 